Okay, so you can see the laser mirror is not spinning. You can see the four wires right there going into the board. Then these are the wires coming out. They combine into a seven wire cable. But then the four wires split off. Um, you can get at them separately right here. And then you can see I've got two grounded connectors and one positive. Right now it's at zero volts. So I'm st um, stepping it up here to right around 13.6 volts. It starts up. You can hear it starting up. And so you can hear, see the mirror spinning right now. So now I'm going to look at the current. It's holding at about 167 milliamps. Now if I slowly drop, drop, drop the voltage, you can see the current is down to about 5 milliamps. It's down to nothing. And you can see the mirrors starting and stopping. Okay, so this is the um, power supply connection. And you can see I've got the grounds tied together here, but that's not really being used. Um, this is my, this red and the black cable, or if you follow this cable around, they're going into this meter right here, which is reading, reading 80 hertz. That's the frequency I'm operating at. And if you follow this cable around, and you look at this one, this is my scope probe, and it's going to the um, oscilloscope, and it's showing me the duty cycle right now. So if I look over here, and I adjust the duty cycle, I have to press the shift button, and then this duty cycle button, and it's at 55. Now if I adjust it to 65, it stops, you can hear it stopping, the motor slowing down, and it's going to stop. Getting it to start is the hardest thing. It's fussing. There's something that's causing it to start up a little bit. It's still spinning. Okay, it's totally stopped. Um, the 5 volts is going to the uh, pin, well, you can see the pins. So the green wire is the one that's being connected to the pulse width modulation. And you can see it where it's connected right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it's 13.5 volts. The mirror is not spinning. I'm going to go over here. It's at 80 hertz. I'm going to shift the duty cycle back to 55, and it spins up. So now the goal is to improve the operational range. Um, instead of just operating between... Well, let's just see if we can speed it up. So I'm going to go hit here, and by turning the duty cycle down, right, I change the wave shape. And you can see it's spinning up. See, more of it's positive. If I start increasing the duty cycle right here, right, I'm making it less and less positive, and that's what stops it. Okay, let me get the duty cycle back here. I keep shifting to frequency, so I'm going to knock this down to 55, and it starts up again. Right, 55, and it's about 50% up, 50% down. 
I don't know what the bottom max is, but uh, I'm still speeding it up. This is the fast I can do with this function generator. I think with the Arduino I could get it going faster. So then this is the slowest. Right here, I can still start it up. Yeah, see it's starting up. And then this is what shuts it down. It'll still still keep going here at 58. I'll kick in. Yeah. But at 60, 59 it'll still kick in like that. But at 60 it just stops. Well, there it kicked in. All right, let's go to 61. You can see it's getting hit lumpy. There's 61. Yeah, it's still kicking in. 65, though, it definitely stops. Yeah.